The best way to add a film grain effect to a photo is by using a grain overlay. Usually these grain images will be grey colored and when we set its blend mode to overlay and put it on top of the image, you will get this natural looking grain added to your image. Optionally, you can make the grain bigger or smaller by adjusting the size of the grain overlay. If the grain overlay makes your image darker, you can use a curves adjustment to fix that. Grain effects, especially in black and white images, usually work very well with a flatter image. So in this case, I have flattened the image to fit with the grain. A great trick is to use two grain overlays. I'll quickly add another overlay from my assets, which by the way, I will share with you in the description. As I have not scaled down this overlay, the grain will be bigger. I'll open up the blend options and make sure this bigger grain will apply to the darker areas of the image. And with the smaller grain, I'll do the opposite, which just gives that extra coolness to the image. Here is the before, and here is the after. We can also create a film grain without an overlay image. Let's check that out. I'll remove the added layers and start from scratch. I'll start by adding a Gaussian blur first and let's make sure it will be on top of the image layer. The Gaussian blur is an optional step which will add a little bit of sharpening later in the image. Next, we'll use the live noise filter and set the intensity to around 50%. This will be our fine grain. For the coarser grain, I'll use a procedural texture using the Perlin Noise preset. Adjust the parameters and make sure this results in some coarse noise on a grey background. Excellent, let's now set the blend mode of this to overlay. The final adjustment I'll use is the invert adjustment. This usually softens the noise. We can now select all of these layers and group them. The group will get the average blend mode, resulting on a final grain output we need to blend with the image. By the way, the Gaussian blur created the edges we see in this output, and you can always lower the blur radius if needed. To blend this with the original, I'm going to group the group we just created, and this will allow us to set the blend mode to overlay to apply the grain. As you can see, it also adds a bit of sharpness to the image, which I think works well. But you can turn this off by disabling the Gaussian blur adjustment. Or you can really boost the blur radius to add some contrast to the image. If you want a stronger grain, you can set the blend mode of the group to linear light and fine tune the opacity. Optionally, you could also fine tune the blend ranges. In this case, I don't want the white noise to be that strong. Excellent. Another cool way of adding more grain is by modifying the procedural texture. By adjusting the contrast, we can make the noise stronger. And it is a good idea to experiment with the cell count to see what works best for the image. If you want a very subtle grain, you can lower the opacity of the main group. But here is another alternative. We can just add a gradient map adjustment on top of the first group. Let's modify the gradient map adjustment so that it goes from dark grey to light grey. This way, the black and white noise pixels will become less strong, with as a result a less intense grain. Usually this will affect the luminosity of the image, but we can fix this by adding a curves adjustment on top of the gradient map. With the curves adjustment in place, we can now really fine tune the gradient map to get that subtle grain effect. Let me zoom in a tiny bit to see the before and the after. Pretty awesome. As mentioned earlier in the video, I will share my assets file, which contains the two methods I showed. They can be easily applied to any image by just dragging and dropping on it. There's also a third method included, which I call simple noise. This one does not have the procedural texture filter. It just basically applies a noise on a gray fill, which is then blended with the overlay blend mode. The assets file also do contain some free overlay images. 
The source for these overlay images can be found in the description where you can find more of these assets. As a bonus, there is also a dithering asset. A film grain is mainly based on noise, but with a couple of small adjustments, this noise can be used to also dither the image to black and white. By adjusting the threshold adjustment, you will get three variations of the dithering. I hope you like it and also like this video. Make sure to give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.